weird our news. We'll get started in just a sec, and then we'll have some questions and feedback for you. All good? It is recording. You are on. Hello. I am Ryan Yancey, and welcome to my graduation defense. Wait, where do I? I did. Do I need to point it in a certain direction, or? There's that tiny little notch on the side. The receiver is not the screen, is it? Yeah, where is the receiver? Right there. Ah. It gets it either way. I'm going to flip it around, too. Oh, am I? Oh, I was holding it the wrong way. Oh, too far. Too far? Oh, my gosh. That's sensitive. <laughs> 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 I did it! Uh, so then... You just keep clicking back. Yeah, just keep going. Spoilers. There you go. There we go. Okay. Got it. Alright. <laughs> uh, I'm, again, I'm Ryan Yancey and welcome to my graduation defense. My graduation will be covering the standard graduation defense topics, but with a uh, major difference, you could say. Other people will be telling you about their, for certain plans after graduation, about colleges they've already been accepted to or, call, or jobs they already have. But my future is rather uncertain, so, which I will explain later. So I will instead tell you what I hope to do, what jobs I hope to get, what colleges I hope to go to. But let's talk a little bit about who I am as a person. I am a writer. I write all the time. I've been writing for years. I just, I love writing because I can create my own worlds, my own people, societies, events, everything. And I, I think that freedom is breathtaking. I haven't, I, I want to, I want to eventually become an author one day and publish things and get paid for it and have people read it. But I haven't released really anything yet. I'm still not, I, I'm experienced in writing, but I'm just not that good at it. So I'm continuing to read books about writing, about characters, uh, structure, and I, I'm i still improving and practicing. I hope to achieve the experience and skill needed to make people feel emotionally affected by something I write for days after reading it. Recently I've been using a writing program called Scrivener, which is that right there. Uh, it's similar to Microsoft's Microsoft Word, but offers a lot more features of relating around writing specifically. Now, the stats up there are not anything to be proud of. I've hardly written any full-on stories. Instead, just writing explanations for what things happen in what world and who's affected by them and why they happen. I am also... Oh, so 18,000 words, 100K characters, 196 documents, only average 100 per document, and the largest document is 2,700 words, about an hour and 20, 12 minutes reading time. I am also a poet. I learned everything about poetry from this movement called Power to the Poetry. Power to the Poetry is a movement that promotes freedom of expression and creates a safe environment to do so. They organize a wide range of different events, some about spreading awareness, some are open mic events, but they do a lot of different stuff. They offered classes at TCS before the pandemic, and I think I took every single one of them. 
one of the poems I helped write was performed at an art studio, the Culver Sullivan Gallery. A previous TCS student, Blake, and I wrote it together. And the Culver Sullivan Gallery is a small art gallery here in Spokane. Uh, TCS did a project with them a couple years ago. I love to learn how things work. I question everything I come across. I've always been this way. I can't explain why this is the case, but it's always been true. I think this is a good trait overall, but it does tend to keep me up late at night. One night I asked my father how solar panels work, and which led me to ask myself if there are any animals that use solar energy, same way our solar panels do. Turns out there are, and it's not cold-blooded reptiles. It's called the Oriental Hornet, discovered in 2010. Now, I'm not going to go into the science and biology behind it. Just know that it collects energy the same way our solar panels do, and uses that energy to generate heat instead of we use our metabolism to generate heat. So, my future is uncertain because I am not healthy for some reason. And it makes things difficult. Coming to school and learning as everyone else does is difficult to me, for me. So, I missed most of the school year. This is why I'm going to take a gap year. I couldn't attend high school Excuse me. I couldn't attend high school. I don't think college would be any different. So I'm going to take some time off from school and hope to get healthy enough to attend college in person. I think that is a reasonable goal, as I have already been taking steps to improve my health and am getting better. Well, so after high school, I would love to attend EWU. I've I've been to their campus for multiple tours, tours, and I believe it's the right fit for me. They're affordable, offer a lot of support options, which I will need because of how much school I missed. Uh, they're nearby and have some specialty classes I'm interested in, like their map creating software, or map creating classes. I would like to major in, yeah, in English and psychology. I'm interested in learning about both, and I think you can find elements of both English and psychology in a lot of jobs and media. I, to, during my gap year, I'm going to be taking free online independent courses offered by different universities and colleges. I've already looked at some online courses. I've already completed some online courses during my high school career. I took Stanford University's Computer Science 101 class, which taught me introductory stuff about computer hardware and software. And I actually have notes from that class here. So you can spread that around. I also took the online Red Cross CPR course. Now, for classes I'm going to take, I haven't decided yet, but I've already looked at some online courses offered by MIT, Harvard, and Stanford. I'll be looking at more before I decide which ones to take. But here are the ones I'm most interested in. For MIT, uh, looking at these, I'm sorry, looking at these su subjects, you notice that there's quite, uh, there's a lot of diversity in them. And that's just because I want to learn about lots of different things. Looking at the MIT courses, the cause and prevention of war is interesting to me in general, but these things are important to understand when writing about them, and I do enjoy writing about war. I think it's, I mean, I grew up watching the Clone Wars, so it's very uh, personal to me. The course, what? no, there you go. 
technology and global economy from 1000 AD to 2000 AD just interests me because I'm just, again, just very curious about understanding this topic. And I don't know how technology and global economy advanced in that millennia. I'm, I've heard some things about it, but I want to learn overall. Now, for Harvard classes, designing organizational structure isn't about taking care of your clutter, unfortunately. It covers business organization and how, and quote, how to build an effective organization that motivates employees to pursue your vision, end quote. And I would uh, really like to learn that for my business. Spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, Religion, Conflict, and Peace examines the roles religions play in contemporary conflicts, how religions are embedded in all hum human cultures, and other aspects of how religion influences decisions made by many, at many levels of government. Again, understanding these topics will assist me as a writer. So, it will be diff moving on. It will be difficult to find a job that can and will accommodate my medical condition. So I'll do the best next thing and just make my own business. With my own business, I won't need to worry about being able to make it to work on time or collapsing during work and having to leave early because I can work from home and set my own hours. I have a fantasy map creation software application called Campaign Cartographer 3 Plus which allows me to create large landscape maps, detailed city maps, and even three-dimensional dungeon maps. Also general, just room maps. My, targets, my target audience will be people who play tabletop games like D&D, Dice Wars, Kin, and others. The business will create custom maps based on a client's specif specifications. Price will depend on the size and complexity of the map. I've taken some business classes here at TCS, so I have a general idea of how to run a business. And while I do it, when I actually start it, I will gain experience and learn lessons to improve at it. And as I mentioned before, I'll take that organizational um, cent structure creation class, which will uh, help me. Uh, yep. My father has operated two successful IT consulting businesses from home, so he will be a great source of information. Before I can sell my business, however, I need to get better at using the software because it is very complex. Think like Excel squared. I've even since I love creating worlds, I've even considered and writing, I've considered writing whole campaigns or stories to be sold with my maps. Here are some examples of what the application can do taken from the developer's website. This is a very in de very in-depth, detailed 3D dungeon map with multiple layers, multiple floors. It's very impressive. Here is a, a city map, a custom city map. Every single one of those trees, buildings, roads, titles, all placed manually. Although there is a command you can run to automatically generate a 2D city, which is very neat. And you can also make very stunning just world maps. Like, this is something you'd see out of Lord of the Rings. That's incredible. So, I would love to learn to use this program to make maps like these. Uh, in closing, keep in mind that despite everything I talked about today, and what I will be able to accomplish in my immediate future is uncertain. But I still hope to be able to accomplish everything I have talked about. Despite recent difficulties in attending school and being engaged in school, I have enjoyed attending TCS overall. 
And after graduation, the difference in my lifestyle would be quite odd and take a lot of getting used to. But I look forward to continuing my education outside of CCS because I'm always searching for new things to learn. Thank you for coming to my graduation defense. Are there any questions? Thank you, Ryan. <clears throat> we were uh, giving some feedback, asking some questions. I have a few, but uh, anybody else want to jump in first? I do. You want to yeah, I think I can jump in feedback and a question. Um, certainly you are a self-driven learner that you do your own exploration. This looks like in a lot of different areas. That's really going to help you, I think, in your future. Um, I took a, an online class at MIT that really helped me. And just the fact that you are aware of those opportunities and have already taken some and want to take more, um, you are a learner. And that comes across loud and clear. Um, my question is, so you want to start a business and uh, have other endeavors. I wonder what you learned about collaboration with TCS and how um, that's going to impact you in your future. The first thing that comes to mind when you ask me what I learned about collaboration is what makes a good partner, a good um, worker to be partnered with, and what makes a bad worker to be partnered with. And I think that would be useful if I'm making my own business, I can try and identify those things before I hire people to help me. I'll be looking for someone who is interested in the work, who isn't opposed to doing the work in any way, like some deep core belief or something. Uh, and especially someone who is OK with a sporadic schedule. I first started writing in elementary school. Element, elementary school? Yeah, yeah. And every writing assignment we were giving, I just went above and beyond. One page, I wrote four. And then I kind of lost it a little bit during high school, middle school, but I picked it back up at the beginning of high school. And then I just really took off on it. Um, do you have a style? Do you, can you describe your, your style of writing? Like how you create your characters? Or do you have a certain flair to your writing? I, I've exposed myself to lots of forms of media. Anime, movies, TV shows, books, articles, fan fiction. I notice a lot that people in like science fiction, they write rules for their universes, but then they do a terrible job at sticking to them. So I have focused so far on making universe rules that like how things work and why they work that way, and just ironing them out, carving them in steel so that I would know if I'm writing a story and I have a question about how something should happen, I'll just look to those rules and that's what, and the answer will be there. So. Well, the only other thing I have is just more of a comment really that, um, that I've always loved your positive attitude uh, towards things. Um, you were in project for the first couple of years there, 101 or 201. And I also know this, you still have even a sense of humor on some of your slides with the struggle that you have had with, with your health complications. 
still being able to. I really hope he gets that toaster oven. Yeah, that toaster oven. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pretty, yeah. pretty funny there on that slide. So just, uh, I know that'll help you in anything that you go and do, is having that, that sort of way to spin things and, and see some sort of other humor or light in, in things. So. Thank you. Good job. Ryan, I'm going to focus on your um, what I hope to do pathway goal of college. And uh, so I have a few questions all under that kind of umbrella or theme. Um, the, but first, I need to get a little information. Uh, I don't, I think the answer is no to these, but I just want to be sure. Um, so some basic things like uh, getting a uh, Federal financial aid ID, so your FSA ID, uh, and then and then the next step, and that's something that sticks with you your entire life. I had to log in just a few months ago, um, and then that allows you to apply for financial aid, fill out a FAFSA. Have, is that have you done any of that? I believe I have. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, and then that's great because next year, the year after then you're set, including, I believe, you can do the FAFSA for the school year 2023-24. Uh, uh, so you might want to look into which one you did. Uh, how about essentially the same thing for applying for college? Sure. Um, you can often, even if you're accepted for a particular year, often colleges will let you defer uh, for one year. So I'm wondering about have you applied for any colleges? I have not. So you know that the community college is really simple. That's why we ask everybody to do that first, because it's like a great just get your feet wet. You can do that in an afternoon easily. Um, and you just go to SFCC, um, or you can just search SFCC application. Um, how do you feel about, like, if you if you completed that application and you did it you? Is that, what's your reaction when you hear me suggest that? Everything from I am positive I'm going to go home and do that to um, I think maybe I should. I'm not sure if I will follow through. How, what, how do you feel regarding that? I am hesitant to do so because aren't applications already closed? So couldn't, wouldn't I have to wait before I, or before I submit any? Uh, certainly not the, the community college. Um, generally, you can uh, submit applications anytime for any college. It, it could be challenging to get in for the fall at an Easter. Um, still have a pretty good chance at the community college level, but at, at a four-year university, the fall could be challenging, um, but their application, they may say you're accepted for winter quarter uh, of next school year. But you're just interested in being accepted and then and then communicating with them about what term uh, you might like to start. 